Hi, I'm Joe Ewak with Sensorex. Thanks for joining me today as we go through the steps necessary to calibrate a pH electrode. Calibrating any pH electrode is simple and it requires just a few pieces of equipment. We need, of course, a pH electrode. We need a pH meter or transmitter as well as two buffers and a container of rinse water. pH buffers are specially formulated salt solutions with precise pH values. The calibration technique for using a bench top or desktop or a pH controller are all the same. When calibrating a new pH electrode for the first time, you'll need to examine the cable and the connector that comes with the sensor. In this case, I'm using the popular BNC coaxial connector. It's a press on and twist to lock. So I will connect it to the receptacle in the back of the meter. I'll turn on the meter and I'll remove the soaker bottle that's provided by the manufacturer of the electrode. The soaker bottle keeps the electrode moist and ready to go out of the box. I want to take the electrode, swish it around in some rinse water, wrap it on the edge of the beaker to remove residual liquid, and then place the electrode into pH 7 buffer. Stirring vigorously for a few seconds will remove any entrained air and also make sure that you're mixing the sensing tip uh, nicely with the pH buffer. For this meter I hit the standardize button and the meter will go through some steps to automatically lock in on the buffer 7. As soon as the display starts, stops flashing, it's locked into a pH of 7. We can remove the electrode from buffer 7, put it into rinse water, and then place the pH electrode into a buffer of 4, stirring vigorously for a few seconds. Now, I'll once again hit the standardize button on my pH meter. The pH electrode should lock into a pH value of about 4.0. Now my pH electrode is fully calibrated. I can remove it from the buffer, rinse it a bit, and now it's time to take a sample of measurement. I have some coffee that I've been drinking today. We'll swish the electrode around in the cup of coffee. And my coffee that I'm drinking today is a pH of about 5.03 slightly on the acidic side, but the coffee sure does taste good. Thank you for joining us today. We hope this was useful and interesting for you.